friends, it's Nancy. Here to do a little more work on this journal. Um, what <laughs> was I thinking in my last video about this? Whoa. So I was so careful to make sure I sewed that um, doily on the inside before I added the fabric and the, and the pattern. And then I realized, uh, uh, that's not how I make a journal because now I have to cover like this stuff. So this was a huge mistake putting the uh, instructions on the inside of the cover. I'm furious. Then, then I, when I started gluing together, I glued it wrong. So I had to take this all apart and you can see there's a ton of uh, fabric tack on it. Not too worried because I will be covering that up. Um, and then, and I went back and I rewatched my video, and I remember saying, "I'm going to cut the sp spine an inch and three quarters," and then I watched myself cut it an inch and a half. But that didn't stop me from making an inside spine that was an inch and three quarters. I've now cut it down and remarked the lines, or carrying enough papers for nine signatures or uh, but oh wow well. we're we're getting somewhere so I pieced together some more um, feed sack fabric to make the spine I'm tickled about how that turned out and added some vintage rickrack it looks pretty white but it's not it's it's very much if I put something white next to that you go oh yeah it's kind of an ivory color um, yeah, so I guess the next step is sort of deciding how I want signatures to go. Uh, I've got a variety of papers here. Well, old pet papers, ledger, little smaller pages, all kinds of different stuff in here. So I'm just going to take some time now to put together my signatures. Okay, I think I've got my signatures more or less together. Um, the, the anchor pages or the outside pages of each signature are going to be the same. They're going to be this tea dyed paper. And what I want to do with the tea dyed paper is I have this old spool of vintage seam binding and I'm just going to put a little bit of seam binding a ruffle of seam binding down the edge on those because um, I think it'll match nicely with the feed sack fabrics that I chose so that's my next step um, but I'll give you a look at one one of the signatures right now so this has vintage ledger paper Uh, vintage stamp book page, vintage lined paper, <laughs> it's all nicely aged for me, uh, some ledger paper, this is a piece of um, writing paper, and this is a form from the Florida Lead Travel Service. I've had, I've had that for almost two years now. I'm starting to get to the bottom of it. All right, so let me get sewing and I'll come back and we'll talk about the next step. Okay, so I've got all of the ruffled seam binding on there now. Um, now I want to add some tabs. Uh, so like I mentioned the other day, I did find my feed sack fabric stash. And most of the pieces are little, so inch and a bit by two and a half it ish so I'm gonna find some blue ones in here and see what we can come up with
Looks like I'm right in the greens. <laughs> there are some bigger bits. Like that one's a bigger one. That's too light. That one's got a yucky stain on it. And some really cool. Ones. Ooh, there's one I like. Ooh, I like that one. I also mentioned in my video that I would try my best to get some packaged up because I know um, some people were asking about additional feed sack fabrics in my store, in my Etsy shop. Um, so these are them. Just seeing if there's anything really super cool. I've probably got enough to choose from now. Um, I like that one. I'll just have another quick look. What's that? Hmm. That's pretty. Okay. So I think I will choose seven to make tabs. That's going to work, isn't it? So these ones have very similar range of colors. The same blue, green, the orangey red color. So I think we'll go with those. And... Maybe I'll use my, oh, look what happened. My ruler broke and I will never be able to replace it. I don't know where it came from. Oh, well, I think I, it came from Michael's, but I've never seen it since. So I'm just going to cut these sort of, oh, an inch and a quarter ish. watched a really good movie last night. It's on Netflix and it's called Green Book. And it was really, really good. Actually, Doug had seen it earlier this week and he told me about it. He, this one, see, this one's not going to be an inch and a quarter. Yeah. 
Yeah, these ones are going to be more like an inch. And he recommended I watch it. So I watched it last night, and actually he came in and watched the end of it with me. See, so it's based on a true story of a friendship. And uh, Viggo Mortensen plays a character called Tony Lip. And he was so good. <laughs> I just fell in love with Tony. He tries to be a bad guy, but he really loves his wife and his kids. And <laughs> he's trying to do the best he knows how. And he's willing to learn. It was very, very sweet. So if you get a chance, you're looking for something to watch this weekend. Give a look. supposed to get quite warm today. I actually had to change clothes because I was hot. That doesn't matter. If it was snowing, I'd be hot. Just stacking these up so I can cut them all at once. Okay. I'm just kind of laying these out evenly. And these are, I think, are an eight and a quarter. I will stitch them down once I get them organized. Right. 
So that'll do. I'm going to stitch. I'll turn these around and then flip them over like this and get them stitched in place. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so all the signatures I have added a little um, piece of feed sack fabric and then added just a scrap of lace and an antique button that I've stitched on with embroidery floss. Um, this is, I've got, and I've got them all pinned together. That's why they're taking up so much room. Um, I'm thinking that I will do something with this image uh, for the title page, but I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet. But that looks, looks like something I would do. All right. Um, so I think I will stop the video for now and continue to uh, think about what I want to do for ephemera. Um, I know I want to use some vintage stuff. I've got letters, photos, cards, lots of stuff. So um, I'm going to have to get on my hands and knees and start digging through the boxes to see what I can find. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care. Talk to you later.